Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to give my no vote explanation to the education omnibus budget that's before us. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle are apparently proud of this budget because they claim it doesn't take any money out of the schools. Unfortunately, this budget represents a continued systematic disinvestment in our schools, once again taking $400 million from the school aid fund for other budgets, dollars that should come from the general fund. Meanwhile, take a look around. First, there was the Buena Vista School District that shut down entirely due to financial distress. Then there was news of Albion High School, which is shutting its doors due to the budget shortcomings. Just last week, Ann Arbor Schools issued 233 pink slips as a result of lack of funding. If it goes through, it would be the first time in history that Ann Arbor Public Schools would have to lay off teachers. These issues aren't unique to Buena Vista, Albion, or Ann Arbor. School districts in every corner of the state are in collapsing. As for the school district, as schools that are barely getting by, students face much larger class sizes, restricted course opportunities, limited books and classroom supplies, cuts to programs for the gifted and talented, and the elimination of extracurricular activities. School aid funds should be allowed to serve its true purpose, the funding of Michigan's K-12 schools and nothing else. For two years now, my Democratic colleagues and I have been calling for adequate funding for our schools at risk of a cr crumbling public education system. The results are in. Your formula isn't working. Our schools simply can't operate under the means which you provided or failed to provide. And whether it's Skunk Works or the EAA, the alternative s suggestions simply aren't making the cut. The people of Michigan would, per would prefer to see budgets done right rather than done quickly. Our citizens deserve a budget that provides real solutions to the problems our schools are facing. I urge my colleagues to go back to the drawing board on this budget, and I request that my remarks be printed in the journal. Thank you.